Bush was sworn in, he got 40, he was the 43rd, he was the 43rd president. Uh, uh, he was the 43rd president, and that happened to be the 50th, uh, that, that was the 50th, right, and the 53rd, so he's the 53rd, 54th, and the 53rd term. And he's been two terms, 54, so this is the 55th term. The way you can do that is you take four times, I don't mind that, this is how you do it, four times 55 is 20, that uh, is 20, this is what? It's 22, 17, uh, 89, five, that's right. I know that's right, 1789. And that's what? That's right. That, that, that is 2009. So this happens to be, it has to be the 55th term. That's the, this, this is the 55th term. And this is the 44th president. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and we showed for four times this times two, uh, uh, four times uh, 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 50, 55 gives you the term, 40 years, that's 220 years. 220 years on the 1789 to 2000, 2009. So that's the 55th term is beginning. And so what we say is that as he begins this thing, why don't we read this uh, uh, thing? And so what I'm going to get you to see is that when he goes in to be anointed, he reads this oath. Uh, they believe that in, in swearing in, that by some magical way you have wisdom and knowledge and everything to perform this thing. And, 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 and go through. So if that be the case, then how did when uh, 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 Bl Blagovich was sworn in as a state what? How did he become so corrupt? <laughs> so he had to be corrupt from the jump. So that oath didn't mean what? Yeah. It didn't mean nothing. It didn't bring about no transformation or nothing. See? So this is what we say then, but what they're trying to emulate these things, these uh, 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 divine, or they call them alcohol practices, we're going to show forth what they're trying to emulate and, and, and summons up uh, in these types of rituals. Because this, this is more than what meets the eye. This is a, a, a ritualistic uh, 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 practice that's taking place where they, they are summoning up, uh, hoping to summon up certain types of powers. And the symbols that you see represented there, uh, we're going to go through, uh, that office there ain't there for. Uh, uh, it ain't there for, for, for just somebody to watch. It's a pretty stuff. It, it has deep symbolical meaning. We're going to read some stuff for you uh, 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 about this stuff because most people don't understand it. Even some of the black people that study African culture, they don't understand the symbols of that stuff. What they're trying to conjure up and what type of powers that the ancient magicians had. And, and the reason why you have most of the secret society, this is, this is very odd. When you look at it, I, think I call it bizarre. Uh, you got a bunch of white men, old white men, uh, going back to beating hard after to pull it up these um, uh, occult magic and the deep, ma uh, deep uh, magic books <coughs> and incantations and talismans. Then they got the black people here. They said they don't amount to nothing. <laughs> so you see what I'm saying? It's almost, it's almost, you know, striking that they don't, they don't, they don't search these uh, uh, archaeological findings. Got most of the deep secrets in, in those tombs. Uh, went through the incantations, you know, that, 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 the, the rituals and stuff, summoning <coughs> all types of spirits and, 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 and everything else. And uh, the people that they have here, uh, 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 they don't feel that, that they feel that, that we lost and we don't have no attachment to that. But uh, we're going to find out that, uh, we're going to come back to that point anyway. We're going to come to find out who, who's who. But it's, but it's odd that, they, that, that the, whole, the whole thing, the Washington DC is laid out in nothing but an Egyptian motif. Everything there is mostly Egyptian. And, and ancient Middle East uh, 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 philosophies and stars and stuff. So uh, what we understand is that uh, what they're trying to do, and uh, I think the best way to go about summoning this is that uh, we we'll start off with uh, uh, reading this little article here. This is put out by the Cutting Edge, uh, 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 cutting edge uh, 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 research society here. Uh, some of the stuff they have right, but they haven't dealt in, in the deep esoteric metaphysical explanation of this. 
Okay, now, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what was the difference of inauguration? Read or inaugurate. Okay, look up, uh, 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 inaugurate. That is inaugurate. Okay, uh, uh, okay. So, you look at the, uh, 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 Okay, now, okay, now, so then, what they normally do, you know, uh, for president, they have a very elaborate ceremony, a ceremony there. Why don't you read these, these first two paragraphs that Penny? Okay, the President Bush raises the office once again and takes the oath of office to begin his second term. The subtitle is President Bush continues a practice begun by Ronald Reagan of facing the obelisk, Washington Monument, during the second term inauguration. Okay, so in 19, uh, when, uh, when Bush, when Reagan was uh, inaugurated in 1980, what happened was, uh, uh, they changed the uh, capital from the, uh, from the east side to the west side. And see, what he wanted to do on the west side, he wanted to make sure that he was facing that obvious. Because on the east side, that would be this. Why did they change it from east to west? See, east represented the face of the what? The rise of what? Sun. The rise of the sun. And west would set it. The west would be the sun what? Set Sun set. So then, uh, they went from forest rising. And you, you say, uh, that's the Hebrew, I mean, the word forest uh, horizon. Horizon don't mean what you think. It means it means horror, horror rising. Which means really is the sun what? Right. The sun rising. It's part of the worship of the sun, which we understand. It's really going to uh, the Esodia. You see. And we'll talk about come back to this point in a moment. Now, now that we understand that, so uh, we'll continue there. So they had this obelisk uh, uh, that that they facing, which represents the uh, uh, male penis, the erected penis. We'll talk about that and how it was worshipped back in the ancient days. Between uh, 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 the phallic, uh, uh, it was worshipped in the, the ancient the, 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 the both the female and the what male sex organ was formed in worship there. Now y'all would despise that, but but really. It was that reason he did it because they were looking at the physical, not understand that there was a there was a, a counterpart of this. And there's a true man. No, it would really point to male and female energy. We'll talk about this in a minute. And what they're doing, they're tapping in, they're trying to tap into this stuff, and they don't they don't have a full understanding of what they're dealing with. Because uh, 'cause they're dealing with on a, on, a, on a strictly physical level, stripped of the religious or the spiritual aspect of it. In other words, the Western man, what he did, he separated. In fact, if you go back to the ancient Egypt, you said one thing. One thing we can realize is big things we can realize in ancient Egypt. One, they believed in the after death, there was a judgment. They, they did, they, the priests believed that there was only one being. I didn't say the people didn't believe what? They believed in many. I told you there was an exoteric and esoteric. The, the esoteric, I mean, he was only revealed to what? The priest. And the exoteric, the masses were always given a one form of religion or the symbols, which they always misinterpreted. But the uh, 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 priests and secret societies, they had to get knowledge that represented what? Power. See, let me get back to that dog on the phallic, the phallic symbol in a moment. But, but my point was that uh, that's what it represented. They don't understand. Now, so that so so what happened? He moved into the heat. They are facing that symbol, and we might as well put it up here. That that uh, 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 obelisk it represents power. And you know the ironic thing is, since I uh, uh, finished that, I'm gonna get another book here. That around about 1880, 18 in the 1880s, that was a movement uh, in Europe and also among the secret societies to go into Africa and get as many obelisks as they could and bring them to the what? The West. That's why you have I actually where is the Cleopatra of Newland? It's located in London. Now the counterpart is twin. 